In Ohio, family and friends this morning are remembering a sheriff's deputy killed during a New Year's Day shooting. In that shootout 50 miles west of Columbus, a second deputy was wounded and the suspect was killed. CBS News correspondent Cynthia Bowers has more on that. When officers arrived to check reports of shots fired, this campground turned into a killing ground. The downed officer in the distress call is Deputy Suzanne Wattel Hopper. Police say she was ambushed without warning. 69's been shot, and I cannot check her. Even as officers tried to rescue the dying deputy, negotiators tried to talk the suspect into surrendering. An appeal that was met with a hail of gunfire, erupting into a ferocious firefight. They came and swarmed. The guys were putting on flak jackets and running from tree to tree. And the next thing I know, I hear shot fired. And then I'm several shots fired. The trailer's just coming apart in pieces. Glass flying, metal flying. It was, it was scary. The officer in this photo, Jeremy Bloom, was wounded in the heated exchange. He is now listed in fair condition. The gunman, identified by police as Michael Ferryman, a resident of the campground, was killed. Wattel Hopper, a 40-year-old mother of two, was an 11-year veteran of the Clark County Sheriff's Department. As we speak, she is um, being returned to Clark County. She's being escorted by Lieutenant Witt and Lieutenant Lucas, and she'll be coming in a coffin draped by a flag. It's a loss for this community. A loss that leaves questions, not so much what happened, but why? Cynthia Bowers, CBS News, Chicago.